Are you thinking about making a move to Orlando, Florida in 2025? Well, the Orlando housing market is doomed. Okay, well, not quite doomed, but there are some potentially concerning things about the Orlando market that I want you to know about. Today, I'm gonna dive into what the Orlando market's current conditions are and the latest market predictions for 2025. First, we're diving into what's currently happening in Orlando's real estate market, whether you're a first time home buyer or have bought a home many times before, understanding the current market dynamics is crucial for making informed decisions. If you've watched our previous market updates, you know that each city has its own individual housing market, meaning that each city looks slightly different when it comes to housing market conditions. For example, one city might lean more heavily into a buyer's market while the next is a seller's market. My neighborhood, for example, part of the neighborhood even, it's not even the whole neighborhood, part of the neighborhood is a buyer's market, part of it's a seller's market. Who would have thought? So if you're interested in Orlando, you're in the right place to find out what specifically is happening in this market. Are we finally in a buyer's market here in Orlando? Well, to answer that question, let's look at a few factors. The market is not as active as in past years, but it's still kicking. We're gonna talk about home values in a moment, but first, let me just say that there is still a lot of pent up buyer demand out there. A lot of people are waiting for the right moment to jump in. Well, I'm gonna wait till after the elections. I'm gonna wait till the end of the year. I'm gonna wait till 2025. You might be one of those people and that's okay. Just don't wait too long if you can because home values in Orlando are still resilient though price growth is pretty weak right now. I'm looking at a chart here that has one price growth line for Orange County and one for Seminole County. Two of the counties that make up the Orlando area. For both counties there is about a 1% increase in the median sale price from September of 2023 to September of 2024. So price growth has slowed way down, almost to a halt, but not quite. And this is single family homes I'm looking at across all prices. So the appreciation is likely different when we're looking at a more specific narrowed price range, but it does give a clear overall picture that price growth has majorly slowed in the Orlando area. So does this mean Orlando is in a buyer's market? Well, let's look at buyer demand. One way to get an idea of what is happening with buyer demand is looking at the numbers of closed sales. As you can see by this chart, the number of closed sales is only slightly lower in September 2024 compared to September 2023. In other words, the number of closed sales hasn't significantly decreased from this time last year and buyer demand has been holding relatively strong overall. Now let's look at month's supply of inventory, which is the main stat we use to know how quickly home inventory is flying off the shelves, so to speak. We have about three months supply of inventory. So, and a balanced market is five to six months. So this indicates that supply has still not caught up with demand, but I would say we're a little closer to a buyer market than we have been, but we are still technically in a seller's market because the month's supply of inventory is still not where we need to have, like even Stephen playing field. Will supply ever catch up with demand to the point where we can finally say it's a buyer's market? Let's look at inventory. Inventory has increased dramatically in both counties with over a 50% increase in inventory this past year. That's a lot. That means when you go out looking at homes, you've got a lot to look at. Whereas a few years ago, you had like two. You, you had no choices. You just had to put an offer in on the house that came up. Now you have choices. However, at the same time, buyer demand seems to be waning in recent months. So I'm not seeing a lot of bidding wars these days at all. Inventory continues to climb. We might transition fully into a buyer's market depending on where demand is. Nevertheless, I think going into these winter months can be advantageous for buyers because even though there are historically less homes on the market during the holiday season, there is also much less competition among buyers during this time. If you want to try to get the best deal, the most price reduction happen in October, November, and December months historically. Now, before I talk about the 2025 market prediction, I want to mention what is happening with interest rates. In recent weeks, mortgage rates have been creeping up 
past 7%. Now, by the time this video is released, the Fed has made plans to cut the federal funds rate again, which could indirectly lower mortgage rates and be a win for buyers. I believe the home buying activity coming next spring will hinge on what will happen in mortgage rates. They've said they're gonna do one, two, three more drops before the first of the year. Who knows? But if interest rates do go down, there are more incentives for buyers to jump in the market, and then we can potentially see more activity next spring. I'm already seeing more activity right now, but many experts have predicted rates will go down in 2025 because the Fed has indicated they will continue to make rate cuts in 2025. I've spoken with many people who've expressed the desire to wait until next year to buy. So it goes back to that pent up demand out there that will pour into the market once these rates come down. And whether this demand continues to outpace the number of new homes on the market, which it most likely will, sellers have to sell in order to buy. So all in all, I don't expect it to be a fierce market like it was a few years ago, but I do think we'll see higher activity than what we've been seeing in the past few months due to the likelihood that rates will come down. A forecast from Zillow suggests the demand for housing will remain strong, particularly as millennials enter the market in larger numbers. This demographic shift combined with the continued appeal of Orlando and all its fun positions us for sustained interest from both local and out-of-state buyers. If you'd like a deeper dive into the Orlando area, Area, we do have a downloadable Orlando relocation guide. If you navigate over to the description box and for this video, you'll see the link to download that guide. This guide is chock full of helpful info, so don't forget to download that guide. Whether you're considering buying or selling, it's essential to stay informed and make strategic decisions based on current trends and future forecasts. Each moment in time, the market has its pros and cons. As I've said before on this channel, no market is perfect. If you're ready to explore your options or if you have any questions about the market, don't hesitate to reach out. And if you're looking for the perfect place in Orlando to live, check out this playlist of our area videos. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Kathy Williams with Team Williams and along with Savannah Williams, we are your Orlando relocation experts. We'll see you next time.